Okay, so here is our first uh, first derivative contract, which has been in existence for really hundreds of years. Um, it's called a forward contract. So forward contract is simply a contract in which two parties agree to exchange uh, one thing for another in the future, typically cash for something else uh, in, in a pre at a pre-specified uh, time in the future for a pre-specified amount of money. Okay, so why, why has this been in existence for a long time? Uh, for example, if you are a farmer uh, and you are producing uh, wheat or sugar or whatever you are producing, uh, and you don't like, and you know you will have your the end of your harvest in six months, and you don't like to be exposed to the randomness of uh, what the price of, of sugar will be in six months when you produce it. Uh, then you can enter a forward contract in which the other party promises to pay you uh, that many dollars in six months for uh, you know one pound of sugar, so that you know exactly how much you will get in six six months. Um, so th that's a natural use uh, of, a, of a forward contract. Uh, it's a natural contract to, to use in a situation when you, for people who don't want to be exposed to the risk of, of, of the randomness of the future price. Okay. So we say a little bit more of terminology here. Uh, uh, it's an agreement to, to buy uh, or sell a, a given underlying asset S or commodity like sugar at a predetermined future time uh, called maturity at a predetermined price. Okay? So the, the uh, buying is, is uh, you say if you are the person who is going to get sugar, you say that you buy the, the forward contract, or you say you are long, you are long. Long means buying, you are long the forward contract. If you are the person uh, who is going to deliver sugar and get cash, uh, then, uh, we, then you are short the forward contract. Uh, we also we already mentioned what underlying means. It's just the asset on which a derivative is written. It's called the underlying. Um, the uh, maturity uh, or final time is always denoted capital T in this course, and the uh, and the for the forward the forward price is going to be denoted by by capital F. Uh, so with the forward price you may either make money or lose money uh, at the, in the end, uh, no matter whether you're long or short, uh, depending on uh, what the actual price will be six months from now. Uh, so so it, it's, it's a kind of a zero-sum game in, 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 the, in game uh, theory language, uh, meaning that my loss is, is your profit, your profit is, uh, and your loss is my profit. Uh, so, because it's a zero-sum game, this, this forward price F can be chosen so that today the fair value of the contract is zero. Okay? So, with a forward contract, you don't exchange money with your counterparty at time zero. The only money that is exchanged is at the very end, and that's capital F, the forward price, uh, when you pay for your sugar, uh, paying F dollars. But nothing is paid uh, uh, at the beginning, only at maturity. Okay, it's going to be different with options, as we will see. Um, all right, so the delivery takes place at maturity. Actually, in practice, usually there is no delivery. There is just cash exchange. Uh, but in principle, delivery takes place at maturity. So um, the payoff at maturity is going to be, uh, depending on whether you are long or whether you are uh, short the, the contract, um, here are possible payoffs at maturity. So if you are along the contract, you will get S of capital T. Okay, that's that's the value of sugar if you want uh, pound one pound of sugar at capital T. But you have to pay F, so it's minus F. Okay? That's the that's the payoff at maturity of a long uh, of a counterparty which is long in the forward contract. Uh, on the other hand, if you are short the forward contract, you will get the cash F, but you have to deliver the underlying value S of capital T. I'm using S for stock uh, because uh, stocks will be my uh, most used uh, example for an underlying, but you know it doesn't have to be stock. Well, S also works for sugar. Um, okay, so uh, the the party which is short gets the cash, but has to deliver, so it's minus has to deliver S of T. Okay. Uh, just to, to make sure that uh, that uh, we, we remember this, the the, the forward price F, uh, although it's paid in the future, 
it is known today when we enter the contract. It's determined at the beginning of the contract. Yeah? Uh, and okay, the other piece of uh, terminology, SO capital T, uh, is also called the spot or the market price uh, at the time, uh, capital T in this case, at maturity, as opposed to the forward price. Right? So you can talk about forward price and uh, about the spot or the market price, the price which is the price for which you can buy it right at that moment. This slide uh, already uh, has been covered, uh, it's just uh, recapping, so a long position is an, uh, uh, is an uh, obligation to buy and the short position is an obligation to sell in the forward contract, the, the, the underlying. Um, I, I'm using here the word obligation to make sure that, that basically to make a distinction from options. Uh, in a forward contract, you have to buy that pound of sugar for that many dollars uh, if you are long or you have to sell it uh, if you're short. You, you don't have an option, you, you have to do it. With an option, call and put options are actually going to be similar as, as forward contracts, except you, the uh, one party, the party which is buying the option, will not have to do it. Um, it will th that party will have uh, an option to buy or an option to sell. Okay, uh, so that's that's the difference, and because because of that, it turns out that options will not be will not have zero value at the beginning of the contract. They will have to have positive value, and this course is about computing that value. Okay, but that's going to be in the next set of slides. All right, here's a, just a simple example uh, uh, for a typical use of a forward contract. Uh, suppose you are a, a company that, uh, US company maybe, American company, which uh, knows they will need to buy something in Europe for about 1 million uh, euros six months from now, uh, and they don't want to worry about how much uh, euro will cost in terms of dollars six months from now, uh, so they can simply uh, enter a forward contract uh, to buy 1 million euros in six months for a pre-specified exchange rate, let's say 1.3 uh, dollars for an euro. Okay? And, and then six months from now, uh, what will happen is they will pay uh, 1,300,000 dollars and they will receive 1 million euros. And this is a, a forward uh, contract on a currency contract, a forward contract on currency, a typical use of a forward contract. If you are a company which needs to international company, but you don't want to, and you know that you will need some currency in the future, but you don't want to worry about how much, what the exchange rate will be. Okay, so in terms of graphical presentation, uh, uh, this is going to be simple for forwards, but it's going to be useful later for options. Uh, just you know, how how does this payoff look like at maturity as a function of of, uh, of the underlying. Uh, uh, underlying asset in this case uh, the underlying asset is, is 1 million euros uh, so um, let's just look at that in the next slide all right so we are say long uh, a forward contract on the underlying s and the function the payoff is, sim is a simple linear function in, in this case uh, because you will you will get uh, s of t you will get uh, your let's say million euros uh, and you will uh, pay uh, you know, $1,300,000. Yeah? So the, the, your payoff is simply this difference, that's a linear function which is increasing, uh, and, you, and you, know, you, you can either make, your profit is either positive if, uh, if, the, uh, uh, if you have to pay less than what the market price at that moment is, uh, but if you have to pay more than what the market or spot price is at capital T, th then you are effectively losing money. Okay? Uh, so the x-axis here is the value S of T of underlying and maturity, and the y-axis is, is your profit or loss. Very simply, the profit or loss from a, from a short forward position I is just uh, uh, mirroring around the x-axis. Uh, it's just a, it's going to be a downward sloping line and it's just the negative of, of, of the profit of the long position. Uh, and if you're short, you, you get F, you get the cash, but you have to, to deliver the underlying. So this line is, is just uh, graphically uh, shown here. And in this case, uh, the seller is making the profits uh, 
uh, when the when the uh, underlying price is less than f and and losing if it's uh, if it's larger than f. Okay? So that's a similar uh, similar slide to the previous one. <coughs> 